Good evening, my name is Neil Williamson, 39, Brian M. Lake, Charlestown, Rhode Island, N-E-I-L, W-I-L-L-I-A-N-S-O-N. I've been in the water business for 38 years. I, I currently oversee seven high production wells and two treatment facilities in a neighboring town. Um, what concerns me is though, when peak withdrawals happen, they're saying it's going to be in the winter time. Well, guess that, that's when our aquifers are recharging, because we borrow from them spring and summer. Um, ask any operator, they can't wait for November. Um, because when it comes to July, you basically flip in the switch on your wells and let them run. Um, most towns have a 25 year plan with their water systems uh, for growth. 724,000 gallons equates to 3,200 homes occupied by three people apiece, each using 75 gallons each. So what you've done when, when you just start pulling that much water, you basically have just moved 9,600 people into town. Um, that's, that's not sustainable, uh, especially when you factor in what towns have to grow by. Also, what you want to look at is in the future is um, allocation quarters. It's coming. Stream levels go low. Uh, municipalities, privately owned companies, they're going to be forced to reduce uh, what they're pumping because they have to maintain the stream levels. Uh, and you can't do that while having someone else come in and pulling thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of gallons of water a day. Um, it's something to think about. Anyone who gets into this contract, if you look at, uh, look at all the towns that refused, that's why they're protecting they're protecting their future supply. They're not gonna, they're not going to bargain and uh, you know and sell it all like that because trying to permit a new well takes years. That's if one even exists. So they have to take care of what they have and uh, and just monitor it and take care of it and and, and don't look for the fast talk. Thanks.